the city of Cincinnati, Ohio, during the 19th century, a remarkable individual emerged from the shadows of slavery to become one of the most successful black businessmen of his time. This is the story of Henry Boyd, a carpenter, entrepreneur, and abolitionist whose legacy continues to resonate in the annals of history. The Early Years Born a slave on April 17, 1802, Henry Boyd faced the harsh realities of bondage. His journey began with the relentless pursuit of freedom, a dream that would shape the course of his life. In 1826, Boyd, a skilled carpenter, even in his early years, earned enough money to buy his freedom and escape the clutches of slavery. He found refuge in Cincinnati, Ohio, hoping for a life free from the shackles that bound him. Triumph over adversity. Cincinnati, a city of both opportunity and exclusion, became Boyd's new home. Despite Ohio being a free state, racial barriers persisted and restrictive laws, known as black codes, denied basic civil rights to black folks. Boyd, however, was undeterred. Boyd's talents as a carpenter caught the attention of abolitionists and white patrons, breaking down the racial barriers that initially hindered his progress. He was determined to make a mark in a society that often excluded black working men from skilled professions. Rise to entrepreneurship. Through sheer determination and hard work, Boyd's woodworking skills became a ticket out of poverty. At the age of 18, he purchased his freedom and at 24, moved to Cincinnati, facing discrimination but proving his worth in the carpentry world. Boyd's journey to secure recognition for his invention, the Boyd Bedstead, highlights the challenges faced by black innovators in the face of racial discrimination during the 19th century. Despite his ingenuity and entrepreneurial spirit, Boyd's status as an enslaved person person prevented him from directly obtaining a patent. In 1833, Boyd's opportunity for recognition arose through his collaboration with George Porter, a white cabinet maker. Recognizing the potential of Boyd's bedstead design, Porter proposed a partnership to develop and market the invention. Porter, with his legal standing as a white man, could file for a patent, effectively granting Boyd indirect recognition for his innovation. The partnership between Boyd and Porter proved fruitful. Porter filed the patent in his own name, securing legal protection for the bedstead's design and its manufacturing process. The Boyd bedstead gained popularity, becoming a popular choice for households due to its innovative fastening system and elegant design. While Porter's name appeared on the patent, Boyd's contribution to the invention was widely acknowledged within the furniture industry. His craftsmanship and ingenuity were recognized by fellow artisans and customers alike. Boyd's workshop became a hub of innovation located at the corner of 8th and Broadway. Here, he invented the renowned Boyd bedstead, a bed frame that stood out for its unique design and durability. His patented design, the wood screw and swelled rail, revolutionized bed frames, making them sturdier and more durable without the need for iron bolts. Challenges and Triumphs Boyd's business faced adversity as his bed and shop flourished. Employing 20 to 50 people at any given time, he operated an integrated workplace, hiring based on skill rather than race. However, this progressive approach made enemies in the community, leading to three separate arson attacks on his workshop. Undeterred, Boyd's success allowed him to provide for his family and house them in downtown Cincinnati. Despite facing challenges, his commitment to equality in the workplace and society remained unwavering. Legacy beyond business, Boyd's contributions extended beyond the business realm. Throughout the years leading to the Civil War, he actively participated in the Underground Railroad as a conductor. Stories abound of his alleged secret room built to shelter up to five fugitive slaves, a testament to his commitment to the abolitionist cause. His home became a sanctuary for those seeking freedom, and Boyd's legacy as an abolitionist continued to grow impact on the community. Not only was Boyd a trailblazer in the business world, but he also made significant strides in promoting diversity and inclusivity. Employing individuals based on merit rather than their racial background, Boyd's workshop became a symbol of progress in a society riddled with discrimination. The success of Boyd's integrated workplace challenged societal norms and served as a beacon for others aspiring to break free from the chains of prejudice. The Price of Progress Boyd's commitment to equality came at a cost. His workshop, a symbol of progress and integration, became the target of arsonists who sought to extinguish the flame of change. Despite facing adversity, Boyd rebuilt his workshop three times, a 
testament to his resilience in the face of hatred. The three arson attacks, while devastating, did not diminish Boyd's determination to create a better and more inclusive society. Retirement and continued activism. In 1862, faced with the challenges of rebuilding after the third arson attack and the inability to secure insurance, Boyd closed his business. However, his success allowed him and his family to live out his retirement, crafting furniture from his home until 1870. Even in retirement, Boyd remained active in the cause of freedom. Stories of his involvement in the Underground Railroad persisted, cementing his legacy as a tireless advocate for the rights and dignity of all. Boyd's impact on the woodworking industry. Henry Boyd's impact on the woodworking industry extended far beyond the confines of his workshop. The patented wood screw and swelled rail design of his bedsteads revolutionized the way bed frames were constructed. Boyd's commitment to quality craftsmanship and innovation set new standards in the industry, influencing woodworking techniques for years to come. His dedication to creating a product of superior quality not only distinguished him from his contemporaries, but also positioned Boyd Boyd as a trailblazer in the field of woodworking. Boyd's family and personal life. Henry Boyd's marriages played a significant role in his personal life and provided him with companionship and support throughout his journey as an enslaved person, entrepreneur, and abolitionist. His first marriage to Laura Thomas in 1868 occurred during a period of transition and newfound freedom for Boyd. Having escaped slavery and established himself as a successful carpenter and businessman, Boyd sought companionship and a partner to share his life with. While their marriage was brief, Laura's presence undoubtedly brought joy and support to Boyd's life. Following Laura's untimely passing, Boyd found love again with Harriet Albertine Moore. They married in 1871, and their union spanned over two decades, providing Boyd with stability and companionship during his later years. Harriet's presence was a constant source of strength and support as Boyd continued his entrepreneurial endeavors and remained active in the abolitionist movement. Both of Boyd's marriages reflect his desire for connection and companionship, and they played a significant role in shaping his personal life amidst his remarkable achievements as an inventor, businessman, and advocate for freedom. Henry Boyd's children were a source of pride and joy throughout his life. They witnessed firsthand his remarkable journey from slavery to success and his unwavering commitment to the abolitionist movement. Their presence undoubtedly brought comfort and inspiration to Boyd amidst his many accomplishments. Henry Boyd Jr., the eldest son, followed in his father's footsteps, demonstrating a similar aptitude for carpentry and business. He established a successful furniture company in Nashville, Tennessee, and carried on the Boyd legacy of craftsmanship and entrepreneurship. Beyond his professional achievements, Henry Boyd Jr. also served as a trustee of Fisk University, demonstrating his commitment to education and community advancement. Richard Henry Boyd, another son, embarked on a career in education, becoming a prominent teacher and civic leader in Tennessee. His dedication to education and community service reflected the values instilled in him by his father. The remaining children of Henry Boyd also contributed to society in their own unique ways. Lucy Moore, Boyd, the eldest daughter, became a skilled seamstress and homemaker. Hattie Boyd, another daughter, married a prominent physician and raised a family of her own. John Boyd, one of the younger sons, pursued a career in business, continuing the family's entrepreneurial spirit. Mary Boyd, the youngest child, married a minister and dedicated her life to family and community service. Henry Boyd's children carried on his legacy of hard work, determination, and resilience. They embodied his commitment to family, community, and the pursuit of a better life. Their achievements and contributions to society stand as a testament to the enduring impact of Henry Boyd's life and values. Boyd's entrepreneurial vision extended beyond the confines of his workshop. His furniture factory, operating from 1836 to 1863, supplied not only households but also hotels throughout the South and West. Boyd's business acumen transformed his workshop into a thriving enterprise that contributed significantly to the economic landscape of Cincinnati. His ability to navigate the challenges of the time and build a successful enterprise attested to Boyd's strategic vision and foresight. The Underground Railroad and Abolitionism. Henry Boyd's involvement in the Underground Railroad was a defining chapter in his life. A conductor in this clandestine network, Boyd played a crucial role in helping countless individuals escape the bonds of slavery. 
His home, rumored to have a secret room for sheltering fugitive slaves, became a symbol of hope and freedom for those seeking refuge. Boyd's commitment to the abolitionist cause went beyond the confines of his workshop and home, making him a key figure in the fight against slavery. Boyd's integration efforts and challenges. Boyd's commitment to racial equality extended to his workplace, where he employed individuals based on skill rather than race. Operating an integrated workplace with 2050 employees at any given time, Boyd challenged societal norms and became a beacon of progress in a time marked by racial discrimination. Boyd's progressive approach made a significant impact, challenging prejudice and promoting diversity in the workforce. Boyd faced numerous challenges, including three arson attacks on his workshop. The targeted attacks were a response to Boyd's commitment to integration and equality. However, each time adversity struck, Boyd displayed resilience by rebuilding his workshop, refusing to let hatred extinguish the flame of progress. Boyd's ability to rise above adversity became a defining aspect of his character, showcasing an unwavering determination to create positive change. Boyd's retirement, final years, and legacy. In 1862, faced with challenges after the third arson attack, Boyd closed his business. However, his success allowed him and his family to live out his retirement, crafting furniture from his home until 1870. Even in retirement, Boyd's commitment to activism persisted. Boyd's later years were marked by a continued dedication to his community and the principles of justice and equality. Henry Boyd lived in his New Street home until his death on March 1, 1886. He is buried in Spring Grove Cemetery, his final resting place, a testament to a life well lived and a legacy that continues to inspire. As we reflect on the life of Henry Boyd, we recognize a man who, against all odds, rose from the depths of slavery to become a symbol of resilience, innovation, and social change change. The Enduring Impact of Henry Boyd The enduring impact of Henry Boyd transcends time. His legacy lives on in the streets of Cincinnati, where his workshop once stood, and in the hearts of those who continue to be inspired by his story. In the legacy of Henry Boyd, we find a story of triumph over adversity, a narrative that reminds us of the power of determination, the importance of breaking down barriers, and the enduring impact of those who dare to dream of a better world. Join us in honoring the memory of Henry Boyd, a craftsman, entrepreneur, and abolitionist whose impact on the struggle for racial equality echoes through the corridors of time. In the legacy of Henry Boyd, we find not just a historical figure, but a beacon of hope, a symbol of what can be achieved through resilience, innovation, and a steadfast commitment to justice. His story challenges us to reflect on our own capacities for change and progress, reminding us that the echoes of one man's journey can ripple through generations, inspiring countless others to dream and strive for a better world. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.